Hi guys and welcome to this video which is going to be looking at how you can write word equations. The main focus of this video is going to be how you can turn a sentence into a word equation. So if you had a question like this that says sodium reacts with chlorine to form sodium chloride, write the word equation for the reaction. So your first step is to determine which are the reactants and which are the products. So if you see reacts with, combines with, combusts is added to, they're your reactants. To know where that line between the products and the reactants is, you're looking for something like to form, to make or produces. That tells you where you need to put your arrow in. Now in this case, I've only got one product, so I don't need to worry about that. So I can now make my word equation. So it tells me sodium, up at the top there, reacts with, so I'll put my plus in. Chlorine, so they're my two reactants. To form, which means I put my arrow in. And then I've just got the one product, which in this case is sodium chloride. So sodium plus chlorine arrow, which means to form sodium chloride. And you would get one mark for sodium plus chlorine, and then the second mark for the sodium chloride being on the right hand side of the arrow. One other important note is please try to keep it all on one line. When you're writing it, it looks more professional. If you have sodium plus chlorine make sodium chloride on two separate lines, then you can sometimes get marked down for it. Okay, let's have a look at a second example then. So this one says, copper sulfate reacts with sodium hydroxide to form copper hydroxide and sodium sulfate. And as you can see, I've put in my pluses and my arrows where I gave the descriptors before. So we're starting off with copper sulfate. We're reacting that, so I'll put my plus in with sodium hydroxide. I then got to form, so I put an arrow in and I'm forming copper hydroxide and sodium sulfate, so that's copper hydroxide plus sodium sulfate. And you get one mark for the reactants and one mark for the products. Okay, we've got three word equation questions I'd like you to have a look at then. Number one is iron reacts with chlorine to form iron chloride. Write the word equation. So think it through. Iron reacts with, that's your plus to form, that's your arrow, and there's only one product. So have a go at that one. Question two, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium carbonate to produce sodium chloride as well as water and carbon dioxide. Write the word equation for the reaction. And then number three, copper carbonate decomposes when heated to form copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Write the word equation for the reaction. Pause the video, have a go at all three, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through then. So the first one, you should have got iron plus chlorine, arrow, iron chloride. So you get one mark for your reactants and one mark for your product. Question two, hydrochloric acid plus sodium carbonate, arrow to produce sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. One mark for your reactants, one mark for your products. And then finally, copper carbonate decomposes when heated to form copper oxide and carbon dioxide. So the only reactant you've got here is copper carbonate. Decomposes means broken down. So there's your arrow. And then copper oxide plus carbon dioxide. That pretty much sums up this video. All that's left are the three review questions, which are copper reacts with oxygen to form copper oxide. Nitric acid reacts with lithium hydroxide to produce lithium nitrate and water. And iron oxide can be reduced by heating the carbon it will form iron and carbon dioxide. So have a go at all three of those questions now and that ends this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on the subscribe button down below, visit the website and you can find me on Facebook and Twitter.